Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Zion's Wild Broadcast with Evangelist F. F. Baxter. There is a place of quiet rest near to the heart of God, a place where sin cannot molest near to the heart of God. If you think down here is so beautiful and so good, yes, there are some beautiful places down here, but can I tell you something? God has something greater in store for all who love him. God has a place of quiet rest where sin cannot molest. God has a place where there will be no more debt, no more sorrow, no more crying, no more dying. When you look at some of these places down here, they are so beautiful. The birds, the wasps, the bees, and the beauty, beautiful arrangement of the trees. But ladies and gentlemen, all these things that we see down here, all these beautiful places cannot be compared to heaven. Heaven is a place where there will be no debt. Heaven is a, will be a place where sin cannot molest. Why sometimes I, Evangelist Ebox, I show some of these beautiful places down here is to say to somebody if down here could have so many beautiful places naturally so much beautiful places and water play beaches and all that my my thing is if down here can be so beautiful have you ever thought oh beautiful heaven must be have you ever thought oh beautiful heaven must be thinking about a place where sin cannot molest Thinking about a place where there will be no more debt. Thinking about a place where there will be joy and peace. Ladies and gentlemen, it encourages us to realize that if heaven can be so beautiful, ladies and gentlemen, then we must live for God. If down here can be so beautiful, think about what heaven must be. Think about what heaven must be. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, think about how oh, beautiful, how oh, beautiful heaven must be. Oh, excellent heaven must be. Ladies and gentlemen, I show these videos to show you that down here I have some excellent place, some awesome place in the summer. A lot of people come to sit and grill and eat. A lot of people come with their family to chill out. A lot of people come with their family to have fun, come to have get together. And these are beautiful places. But my point is this, if these place can be so beautiful, then think about this. What heaven must be? Lord of mercy, what heaven must be? If down here can be so beautiful, what must heaven be? What must heaven be? Lord of mercy, what must heaven be? Heaven is a place where sin cannot molest. Heaven is a place of peace and rest. And I just share these messages with you these videos with you to let you know that our God is the best. He promised us rest. He promised us rest. He promised us a place where sin cannot molest. And each day I try to share things to show you that in the future with God, things will be the best. No matter how good things may be down here, this is temporary. This is not all what earth up to offer. Oh, beautiful heaven must be. Oh, beautiful heaven must be. You hear the birds in the trees. You see the leaves blowing. You see the breeze blowing. And you know the God we serve is the God that controlled the heaven and the earth, the wind and the ocean. That's why Jesus was able to speak to the wind and the wave and they obey him. Ladies and gentlemen, I encourage you in the name of Jesus, in spite of your now circumstances that might not be in your favor, remember, God promised a place where sin cannot molest. God promised a place where will be joy and rest. God promised a place where there will be no more debt. Read Revelation chapter 21, verse 4. Revelation chapter 21 verse 4 Revelation chapter 21 verse 4 
God promise a place where there be no more debt, no more sorrow, no more crying, no more dying, for the former things will be passed away. I'm trying to tell somebody that there is something better for you and me. There is something greater for you and me. And hurt of no sorrow that heaven cannot heal, but coming to Jesus Christ is the best deal. This is a video to show you. If you think down here is beautiful, take a minute or two and think about what heaven must be. What heaven must be. Lord have mercy. Dear God, I pray that when the rule is called of yonder, I, Baxter, and all who love you and serve you, will be in the number when the saints go marching in. No matter what we do, no matter what we have, no matter what we say, in the end, if we are not saved, what profit would life be? I, Baxter, want to be saved, and I encourage all of us that our aim and goal is should be, should, that we should be saved when the rule is called up yonder. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why I ask people all over the world to always pray for me that I will live the life. As I do these things, I will live the life, live the life, live the life. It's important. The greatest sermon you can preach is to live the life. And so this message is talking about there is a place of quiet rest near to the heart of God, a place where sins cannot molest near to the heart of god ladies and gentlemen there is a place there is a place where there be no more debt no more sorrow no more crying and no more dying <clears throat> here is it you see a sign and this sign said danger keep off keep off the ice danger keep off the ice ladies and gentlemen this sign is telling us danger keep off the ice i want to say in this message that there is a danger if you want to be saved in the kingdom of God, we have to keep out of sin. If we want to be saved in the kingdom of God, we have to keep out of sin. I'm going to say that again. Just like they say, danger, danger, be careful of the ice. I want to tell somebody, if we want to be saved, there is a danger we got to keep, we got to keep, we got to keep out of sin if we want to be saved in the kingdom in the kingdom of god god bless you and keep you god bless you and keep you remember there is a place of quiet rest near to the heart of god a place where sin cannot molest near to the heart of god thank you for stopping by please kindly share this message with somebody i have no doubt i have no doubt i have no doubt they will be blessed in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. I have no doubt each one will be blessed in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name.